I'm just scared. <laughs> what well, a lot of people to the internet. My name is Kevin and welcome back to another video. Okay guys, so for today's video, I am doing a 24 hour reading vlog, which I am very excited about because I want to be reading like spooky slash scary books for this because you know, it's Halloween. I'm trying to look like a pumpkin right now, but am I succeeding? You can let me know. So I'm very excited to read some spooky books. Like, we love a good scare. Who doesn't love a good scare at Halloween? Like, we do love that. But also we kind of hate it for ourselves, but at the same time, love it. So that is what I'm going to be doing in this 24 hour reading vlog. But before I get into what books I'm planning on reading for this vlog, I do want to say that this video, once again, is being very kindly sponsored by Skillshare. If you don't know what Skillshare is, Skillshare is an online learning community full of thousands and thousands of classes ranging from photography, illustration, journaling and design. And the thing that's so great about Skillshare is that the classes are super short and so perfect to work into your schedule so that you can do them whenever suits you. And a class that I have been taking recently and I would also like to recommend is Creative Writing Bootcamp Start a Brand New Story by Myla Goldberg. Now this is a class I've been taking because I am planning on taking part in NaNoWriMo for the first time next month and I'm very excited about it but I wanted some inspiration and like tips on like how to actually go about starting my story because I feel like all the time I just kind of have like these ideas in my head and I don't really know how to put them onto paper and I feel like with this class it has been so helpful so far especially because in it Myla talks about like how to create a character, how to like make this Venn diagram so that you can empathize with the character that you are also creating for your story. And also Myla Goldberg is actually an author herself so it's actually very helpful to get these tips on like how to write a story from someone who is published and has done so. So I have just been absolutely loving this class so much and especially to any of you guys also that are gonna take part in NaNoWriMo next month, highly recommend that you check out this class. So not only is Skillshare very beneficial and helps us learn a brand new skill, it is also very affordable with it costing $10 per month with the annual subscription. So if Skillshare sounds interesting to you and it sounds like something that you think you would enjoy yourself, the first 1,000 people that click the link in my description will get a free trial access to the premium membership. So definitely be sure to check that out if it sounds like it's something that interests you. And thank you once again to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Anyways, time to get to the books I'm planning on reading. Guys, some of the books on this TBR, I don't know why. No, actually not even some. I say like there's many of them. There's only one book on here and I'm wondering why I decided to read it. Like I generally don't understand why I'm picking to read it because it is going to scare me. But I'll talk about that one at the end because I'll go through the ones that I physically own because the one that I'm talking about that's going to scare me, I don't physically own it. So I'm just going to talk about the other ones first. So the first one that I have is Tokyo Ghoul Volume 1 or Book 1. I don't know if you say it, Book 1 or Volume 1. Anyways, Tokyo Ghoul. And this is a manga series that I have heard many great things about and I know my friend Chloe from Books of Chloe really enjoyed it. And I have been wanting to read more mangas so if any of you guys out there have any recommendations for mangas that you think I would like, the only other one I have been reading and currently I'm reading is Death Note. So this will be like my second manga to try. So if you guys have any recommendations, please comment them down below in the comments. But anyways, this is gonna be a very quick read because it's a manga, so it's gonna be very fast to read. But all I know about this one is that the main character is a ghoul. And I honestly can't really think of what a ghoul is. I think they eat people or like consume their energy or something. I don't know. I don't want to actually flick through. I'll spoil myself. But I think that's what the main character is. I'm very excited to read it and I'll definitely read this very fast. The next one that I have to read is Cemetery Boys by Aidan Thomas. Now this one, I don't know if you could say it's like a creepy, scary one, but like it takes place in a cemetery or graveyard. It has ghosts. I think you put those together, that does have Halloween vibes. And this is also my Patreon book club book of the month. So I am also doing a separate reading vlog for this book, but I will talk about my thoughts in here. But if you want to know in depth and like spoilery discussions about this book, you can check out my Patreon and that vlog. My Patreon is always linked down below in the description if you want to join. So I've heard many great things about this book. It sounds like it's going to be right up my street. I'm very excited to read it. And the cover is just stunning. And I believe that this book follows like this main character who summons a ghost trying to summon someone else but ends up summoning like a schoolboy bad boy and I think like a romance starts and obviously because they're a ghost like they have to leave at some point but like I'm assuming they catch feelings and they don't want the ghost to go I am just gonna be here for it and then finally the final book that I want to read in this reading vlog and the one that genuinely is probably going to scare me 
is Clown in a Cornfield by Adam Caesar. Now I have been seeing this book a lot on booktube recently and I've seen like a lot of three star reviews. Like people have enjoyed it but they've just said there's nothing spectacular about it. But the thing is, I have a phobia of clowns. I am literally terrified of clowns. Like when that whole thing a couple of years ago where like clowns were just everywhere, like I was not a fan, did not like that, did not appreciate it. So I just think like the fact there's a clown in this book, it's going to scare me. Like there doesn't even have to be much to it. Once a depiction of a clown is there and I am envisioning a clown, if the clown giggles, it's over for me. Like, I am going to be scared. So I definitely think I'm at a disadvantage reading this because I do have a genuine fear of clowns. So we love that for me. Why I'm reading it, you would ask. I don't know, but I was like, Halloween, let's get scared. And also just to make it that bit more dramatic and extra, I have said to myself that I'm only going to read Clown in a Cornfield when it is dark and when it's nighttime. Like, no one's setting these rules for anyone. Like, I'm setting these for myself. Why? Why? And yeah, I don't actually own a physical copy of this book, so I do have the audiobook, so that's how I'm going to be reading the book. And yeah, I'm gonna read it at nighttime, when it's dark, by myself, in my room. I sometimes regret my decisions in life, and this might be one. So yeah, they are the three books I'm hoping to read in this reading vlog. And will I get scared? Will I not? Will I overcome my fears? I can't see that happening, so let's not get our hopes up. Okay guys, so I'm gonna be starring Tokyo Ghoul now first. I think I want to read that one first because it's gonna be the one that I read the quickest. I'm very much looking forward to it, and I'm probably gonna read it in one sitting. It says, Ghouls live among us, the same as normal people in every way, except they're craving for human flesh. So I think that solidifies me thinking ghouls eat people. So there we go, I got my confirmation. Okay guys, so I'm only up to page, um, what page am I on? There's no page numbers, bear with. A few moments later. 46, <laughs> I have to do such math there to figure that out. Already, I am enjoying this. Like the whole ghoul aspect came so fast and like, I loved how intense it was. I didn't think it was gonna be so intense, but it's so intense, graphic, I'm here for it. And it was definitely creepy. Like the ghoul that we just saw was definitely very creepy and gave me creepy vibes. And I was kind of like, oh, okay, you're creepy. So I already know I'm going to really enjoy this. Anyways, the main character just had like a line that he just said, and I really like it. So I'm just going to read it out. I'm not the protagonist of a book or anything. I'm just a normal college student who likes to read. But if I were to write a book with me as the main character, it would be a tragedy. I don't know why, but I just really liked that line. Anyways, I'm gonna continue reading. Okay guys, so I just finished reading Tokyo Ghoul and I think I'm going to give this a five out of five stars. I literally have nothing that I didn't like about this book. I was very entertained reading it. I really liked the main character, Kaniki, and I like the whole concept of ghouls and what they're about, and I'm interested to know more about them, and I think that's exactly what I'm gonna learn in volume two. And I feel like this was just like a little bit of a taster as to what's to come in this series because there's still so much to learn about this world and learn about how ghouls live amongst the humans because the humans actually already know about the ghouls because there is murders and people that have died from a ghoul and it's reported on the news and stuff so people know about them and i'm so intrigued to like read more and find out how the ghouls are like able to slip into the world and like pass off as a human if you have not picked up this manga before i would definitely highly recommend it especially for someone who maybe hasn't read a lot of manga like i have i found it very quick and easy to read and definitely works for this time of year as well because it is a little bit creepy and like some of this content in here is a bit like dark and stuff so definitely would recommend and if it sounds like something you're interested in you should definitely go check it out so little throwback we're back in my old bedroom but i just wanted to come in here really quick because i'm actually reading in the sitting room with my parents and stuff they're watching tv and so i obviously wanted to vlog but 
they were watching TV, so I decided to just come in here really quick to talk about the book. And so I'm now at page 41 of Cemetery Boys, and I'm already really enjoying it because the main character, Yadriel, I'm just really loving and really connecting with, and I just really love his character. And also Maritza, the best friend and cousin, I'm also loving too. And I kind of can relate to like the whole being so close to your cousin that they're like your best friend because I have that with so many of my cousins, Denise and Emily. Like they're like my best friends and they're my cousins. So I can definitely relate to that aspect and how close he is to family members. And obviously like I've said, I'm only 40 pages into it, but I feel like I've learned so much about Yadriel and I've connected to him because he was talking about his struggle with being transgender and like being accepted by his family. And I was just connecting to him and just really, really loving his character. And so I'm definitely excited to continue reading and to see more of him and see what he gets up to. Okay guys, so... It's much later in the day and I actually didn't read any more of Cemetery Boys so I don't know how successful this reading vlog is going but it's going somewhere because I'm about to start reading Clown in a Cornfield by Adam Caesar. <laughs> so scared. I already know it's going to terrify me just because it's a clown and I know people are probably going to think it's absolutely ridiculous that and this book is not scary but I literally have such a fear of clowns so it's going to be scary for me just because of that. So I'm thriving. It is currently 11.30 at night. I'm about to start reading. I'm going to have to turn the light off for when I'm reading and I'll turn it back on when I'm vlogging and stuff but I'm gonna leave it turned off for when I'm reading it just to add to the full effect. Depending on how scary the book gets, I might turn the light back on. I'm like procrastinating starting it because like I just know it's gonna scare me guys. <sighs> Here we go. Wish me luck. Okay guys, so I have started reading the book and I am up to, I don't know why I'm showing my phone. I'm up to chapter two of the audiobook. I'm liking it so far, like it's fine, whatever. Like I love horror movies, I love slasher movies, like I love Scream and like Sorority Row. Like all of those movies are like my favorite type of horror movies. And it kind of has that vibe because like the very start of this book has like a prologue, which is like similar to like, say like the opening scene of like every Scream movie, how like someone dies at like the start of a Scream movie. Kind of like that happens, except it's not like a murder where the person dies. It's just something that happens and then it goes to present day and you meet the main character whose name is Quinn and she and her dad have just moved to this town and basically this town is just known for like it's cornfield and like it has like a factory that like made corn or something and so she's moving into the house and everything and the house is supposed to be very like creaky and like it makes loads of noises when they're walking around so love that we know for a fact she's gonna hear a noise and wonder what it is like that's gonna happen I know it is but anyways she said that she looks out her window and she sees a cross in the field on like a wall or something I don't know if it was painted or if there's literally like a statue or something but there's a clown it started describing like how it's looked like with his red shiny nose and everything and oh no absolutely not the clown was described to me and I got scared and like this clown is gonna become like a serial killer and like that's gonna be the ghost face of this book is the clown I'm gonna be so scared <laughs> oh I just know it like why did I decide to scare myself this much I understand it was Halloween and that's why the rain reason why I wanted to do it I was like Halloween vibes yes we love Halloween we love Halloween Kevin but we don't love terrifying ourselves <laughs> anyways I'm gonna keep reading because I'm only on chapter two okay guys so it is much later in the night and <laughs> I have finally gotten to my first death in the book where the clown has killed someone and I am thriving. <laughs> I'm not thriving in case that was obvious. I'm scared of the clown. His name is also Frendo and I don't think Frendo is a friend of mine. I just don't like this clown. There was like this like town fair. It was called like the Founders Day party or something. And everyone was dressed like the clown. That sounds like my literal worst nightmare going to a town like event and everyone's dressed as a clown. Absolutely not. I would be relocating and not be living in that town. I feel like I'm gonna have nightmares about Frendo. So love that for me. Okay guys, so it is the next morning and I know that I said in this vlog that it was gonna be a 24 hour reading vlog. 
I think I'm going to change that because I really want to finish reading Clown in a Cornfield at night time. So obviously if I wait till tonight to read the rest of it, that's not a 24 hour reading vlog because I started midday yesterday. So I'm just going to do this as just a regular reading vlog now. It's not going to be a 24 hour reading vlog because I think I just really want to finish Clown in a Cornfield for this vlog. And so it just wouldn't be a 24 hour reading vlog. So just wanted to clarify that. So because it is the next day now, I'm going to just continue reading Cemetery Boys and make some more progress with this and then I can read more of Clown in the Cornfield when I'm in bed and I can clarify I had no nightmares about clowns so love that for me but anyways I'm going to go continue reading Cemetery Boys and I hopefully will make a lot more progress with this today okay guys so I'm up to page 61 now of Cemetery Boys and I just loving this book so much already I just really love the main character Yadriel I love his best friend and cousin Maritza I just love the two of them so much already. Especially Maritza, like she is like very sarcastic and like witty and I'm like loving it. And then Yadriel I'm just really liking as well. And basically the part has happened where they summon the spirit and it's the school bad boy thing. So basically they made a deal with the spirit and I love that trope in books when people make like a deal with someone and then like they don't want to do the deal either. They're kind of like, oh, I don't want to do it. But it's like, fine, you have a deal. That kind of troll, like I live for that and that just happened. I'm gonna keep reading and oh, I'm just loving it so much. Okay, so it is night number two. It is time to continue reading Clown in the Cornfield by Adam Caesar. We're diving back in. For some reason, I have not stopped thinking about this book all day. What does that say about me? Like, why was I thinking about the book with the clown? I shouldn't be thinking about reading the book with the clown. I'm afraid of the clown. Why am I thinking about reading the book with the clown? I was saying throughout this vlog how, like, I was going to be so afraid of this book and I don't know why I was doing it. And now here I am, like, oh my god, I can't wait to read more about the clown. I don't know who I am anymore, honestly. But yeah, I'm going to continue reading. I'm going to be turning off the light once again and continue my reading of this book. A few moments later. I'm just scared. <laughs> I'm actually so scared right now. Oh my god, I just teared up. It's fine. It's fine. So we just got our next victim in the book and the scene creeped me out so much because the way the clown was described and stuff and absolutely not. It even has like the little pom-poms and everything and it's like a, such a stereotypical clown which is the type of clown that terrifies me so much. I am fine. Update. Still not fine. So I have literally like two hours left of the audiobook and the clown has finally spoken and the way it's narrated, like the narrator does like a real muffled voice for how they do it and it makes it even creepier to me because I'm literally envisioning this creepy ass clown and then I'm hearing like that muffled voice and I'm like... Mm -mm. It is a no from me. I'm just gonna leave the town. Like if I was in this story, I would just be like, you know what? I'm just gonna get an Uber and go home. You know, like I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna be like Ben de la Creme. And when she like shows her lipstick and she's like, I'm going home. That's me. Why is it so dark? Why am I reading this without the light on? And like the thing is, right? I've said to you guys that I have a fear of clowns. So you guys, if you read this, you might not find it as scary, but to me it's because it's a clown. That's what makes it so scary to me. Okay guys, so I'm up to chapter 14 now and the book has like properly got into it and like they've all found the clown and they know about the clown serial killer and it's so intense. I'm like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, run, 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 run. <laughs> I'm literally like, run, like run <laughs> because this clown, and I'm just like, get out of there. And now they're hiding somewhere and I'm like, oh my God, why would you hide in there? Freaking run. But obviously they can't hear me, it's a freaking book, but I'm getting the same vibes as I would as if I was watching a horror movie where you're like screaming at the characters for being stupid. Like that's what I'm doing and I'm loving it because it's just such classic slasher vibes. So yeah, I just wanted to update once again and I love how I've been vlogging like while I'm in the dark. I think it's really setting the vibe for this vlog. Okay guys, so I haven't finished the book yet but I just turned on the light because something just happened, like a plot twist reveal just happened and I actually didn't see it coming. There was like kind of two reveals that have happened. The first reveal I saw coming, it was very predictable. 
but the second one that just happened, I am a little bit shook by because I did not see that coming and I should have seen it coming, which is what irritates me because when it happened, I was like, of course, like, duh, Kevin. It shook me and now I'm like, ooh, tea. Okay, everyone, so it is the next morning and I do want to just say that I did finish Clown in a Cornfield last night by Adam Caesar and I ended up really, really enjoying this one. It gave me classic slasher movie vibes and especially as someone who's a big fan of like Scream and all of those kind of movies, but this book just reminded me so much of that. This also just had like, so many different tropes in it, like the final girl trope, new town trope. So many different tropes that are in like horror movies. Also the characters in here are very similar to like characters you've seen in Scream and other horror movies and stuff. So they're very familiar characters and very familiar roles. And then also the ending of this book took a route I wasn't expecting with a romance and oh, I just loved it so much. And it was, yes, yes, I just loved it. I did very much enjoy this and I'm going to be giving it a four out of five stars. The only reason I'm not giving it the full five stars is because some of it, like, it was a bit predictable, like you could see what was gonna happen, like you knew. Now that I've finished that, I'm going to continue reading Cemetery Boys by Aidan Thomas and hopefully try and get this one finished too. Dog update. Hi, Bella. Oh, she's getting up. She's a good girl. Look at that smile. Oh, she's a good girl. Okay guys, so it is the next morning and I'm going to end my vlog here. And I actually ended up finishing Cemetery Boys by Aiden Thomas. I'm gonna give this a five out of five stars because I just loved it so, so much. The romance in here, I shipped it so freaking much. Like I was so here for the romance, I shipped it. Thought they were so adorable together. Also, the way this ended and like the big reveal and twist that happened at the end, I did not see coming and I was very shook because the betrayal and just ugh, everything. Loved it. So yeah, definitely gonna give this a five out of five stars. I just really, really enjoyed it. And if you guys have been thinking about picking this book up, I would just highly recommend it. It's so good. And I just think everyone would really like this one. And if you would like to see my spoiler filled reactions to this book or just know more of my thoughts on it, I did do a full spoiler filled vlog for it on my Patreon, which as I already said, is linked down below in the description if you ever want to join. But of course you do not have to, but if you just wanted a full spoiler filled vlog for this, that's where you can find it. Then another book that I read was Tokyo Ghoul, which I gave five out of five stars. Once again, really enjoyed it, gave me all of the Halloween vibes. And I'm definitely really looking forward to reading volume two or book two, because I definitely want to know more about the world and the characters because I did really like the main character, Kaneki. And then finally, the last book that I read was Clown in the Cornfield by Adam Caesar, which I am giving four out of five stars to because I did really, really enjoy this one as well. It gave me the classic slasher movie vibes in this and I actually would love to see this adapted as a movie. I think it would be a really good movie. And yeah, if you are someone who likes like Scream and all of those like classic horror movies, I would highly recommend that you read this book because it definitely has all of those vibes. It has loads of the different tropes that are in those. And I just think if you are a fan of that, you're going to like this book as well. And yeah, that is going to be it for this vlog. There are all of the books that I read. I actually had a very successful reading vlog because four and five star books was all I read. So love that for me. We love some good books. So comment down below if you have read any of these books and what you thought of them yourself. Also, once again, thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. And don't forget that the first 1,000 people to click the link in my description will get a free trial of the Skillshare Premium Membership. So yeah, that is going to be it for this video, guys, and I shall see you all next time in my next one. So goodbye, guys. Oh, I'm gonna need that song.